Look, absolutely. I mean, we still have a long ways to go. And as you mentioned earlier, we need more decision makers of color and we need more people just even at the table, you know, making decisions. But but at the end of the day, what has changed is the consciousness that, you know, Hollywood has finally realized after years of many of us, you know, beating down the door and saying that diversity is good business. The proof has been in the pudding, you know, with movies like Black Panther and, and Hidden Figures and My Own Harriet and, you know, with the explosion on, on TV. People realize that, you know, diversity pays. It's not just the right thing to do. So in many respects, the issue that you have right now is a pipeline problem because people are starting to hire directors of color and women and, 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 and writers. It used to be a, a writer of color could never get on a white show, you know, and now people do want their rooms to be integrated. In fact, I know CBS has a new mandate that 40% of their writers' rooms need to be diverse going forward. Um, but you don't have enough people because people haven't been given opportunities in the past. So, um, yes, the attitude has changed. The appetite has changed to give opportunities. And and we're seeing we're seeing the results of that on camera on on the screen. W were you very pleased to, to see the uh, the nominations, particularly in the director category for the Golden Globes this year? Yes, it, absolutely. I mean, uh, the the Nomadland director and and Regina King, who's a dear friend and who's been at the top of her game for you know so long. Um, yes, absolutely. But again, the awards are kind of the cake. And, you know, it, the decisions that lead to the awards are made much, much, you know, at, at, all along the way. So it really is about having people at the table making the initial decisions about what television shows are going to be made and what movies are going to be produced that reflect all opinions and, 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 and colors. That's how you're going to really see lasting change. I mean, deservedly, on-screen diversity is a huge focus this year. You made Cinderella back in 1997 with two black female leads, Brandy and, and Whitney Houston, and I was excited to see that it's coming to Disney Plus this year. How, how different was the environment then and now? So the environment, listen, that, that aired in 1997, so it was completely different. Yeah. And not only was... It's, it's, it's the significance of Cinderella that you had Brandy and Whitney Houston in the lead roles, but really it was the, you know, what we call colorblind casting or certainly diverse or multicultural casting of that movie. It was the first time that it had ever been done on television. And I, I think it's part of what made it so special. You know, you had beautiful Brandy in the, in the title role, but then the prince was the fabulous Paolo Montalban, who's Filipino, and Whoopi was, was the queen, was married to Victor Garber. And I think, you know, that inclusiveness is what made it just special and everybody could relate to it. And I'm just, I'm thrilled that Disney Plus is, 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 is entered it into its programming. I was knocking on their door. My good friend Vanessa Morrison is the president of Disney Plus. And I had been getting besieged on social media with people saying, where is it? Why isn't it there? And so everybody worked hard to clear up some rights issues. And February 12th, it'll be on. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.